Ken Jennings is working to overcome a bratty little brother reputation among Jeopardy's famously low turnover staff, a studio insider has told the U.S. Sun. Ken, 50, became Jeopardy's sole permanent host after actress Maya Bialik was dismissed in December. The greatest of all time contestant who won a record 74 straight games is nicely settling into his job as the syndicated show's sole host. Ken, who just wrapped his first season as the only face of the nightly show, is looking to channel Alex Trebek and host for decades to come. But since the game show's insular staff of writers and judges has already been at jeopardy. For decades, he still has a studio reputation as the new guy. Ken has a lot of fans on the staff because a good number of the crew members who saw his rise to game show fame 20 years ago on the show are still in those jobs, the Sony Insider shared. They've all grown old together, and he may have a bratty little brother vibe to him sometimes, but Ken is still an important part of the family. It remains to be seen if he can evolve into the father figure and leader that Alex was for almost his entire run, they continued. Don't kill the golden goose. The source said the staff's goal is to maintain Jeopardy's pristine status as the GOAT American quiz show. And now, that largely hinges on how Ken does as its next potential longtime host. Right now the focus for everybody, but especially Ken, is, don't kill the golden goose. Everybody working on the show right now wants it to keep going for another 20 years, ideally with Ken in the hosting seat, they said. The crew, like the audience, values consistency in the ratings and in the production. Thankfully, Jeopardy! Ratings have held steady with Ken in the driver's seat, and fans have embraced the host, most think he does a great job. One sign that Ken is taking his sole host role more seriously is he has mostly stopped posting on his once controversial Twitter account. His resurfaced wheelchair tweet, among others, got him in trouble when the host search began in 2021 and nearly cost him the gig. Even when Ken was co-hosting with Mayim, he regularly got into Twitter arguments with fans when they accused him of mistakes. Fans were astonished that the host couldn't resist his Twitter fingers even as he hosted the beloved, gather around the living room quiz show. In 2023, Ken replied to a disgruntled fan by making a joke about the fan's wife in a wild since deleted post. The fan said he and his wife preferred Buzzy Cohen as host, and Ken replied, maybe Buzzy can come over to your house and attend to your wife? In another 2023 post, Ken replied to a fan over an on-air pronunciation disagreement, you guys lost the war and now the North writes the dictionaries. Since Mayim was let go, Ken has polished his social media presence and only posts to the platform once a month. The U.S. Sun source said this is a clear sign of Ken's improvement arc and how seriously he takes his job. Focused on channeling Alex's impartiality, he's no longer taking the bait of social media. The problem is that's Twitter slash X, the first place angry fans are going to go to complain about something they see on an episode. Ken has gotten a lot better at not taking the bait and getting into online fights, that's for sure, the source said. Jeopardy's 41st season with Ken as host premieres on September 9, 2024. Ken Jennings has been a mainstay on Jeopardy! for years, transitioning from one of the show's most successful contestants to its celebrated host. But despite his unmatched trivia prowess and quick wit, there's another side of Ken that not everyone gets to see, his playful. The Jeopardy! set was buzzing with activity. The crew members were busy arranging the iconic podiums, checking the buzzers, and ensuring the lighting was just right. But amidst the usual hustle and bustle, there was a different kind of energy in the air, an air of playful tension that seemed to radiate from one man at the center of it all, Ken Jennings. Ken had always been a bit of a prankster. It was something that the late Alex Trebek had teased him about during his contestant days and it was a trait that had only grown since he became a permanent fixture on the show. On this particular day, Ken had decided to engage in one of his favorite activities, sneaking up behind the crew members and giving them a gentle poke, followed by an innocent grin. Ken, you're going to give someone a heart attack one of these days, joked Sarah Whitcomb Foss, one of the show's longtime producers. She shook her head in mock exasperation as Ken gave her a sheepish smile. Oh. Come on, Sarah. You know you'd miss me if I didn't keep things interesting around here, Ken replied, his eyes twinkling with mischief.
despite the playful banter, there was a deeper truth in Ken's words. His light-hearted antics had become a source of camaraderie on set, a way to ease the pressures of producing one of the most beloved game shows in television history. The cast and crew had grown to appreciate Ken's playful nature, even if it meant being the occasional target of his pranks. But not everyone was as amused. Mayim Bialik, Ken's co-host and the other half of the dynamic duo who had taken over after Trebek's passing, sometimes found Ken's antics a bit much. She admired his brilliance and appreciated his deep knowledge of the game, but she couldn't help but feel that his bratty little brother persona was a bit of a distraction. During a break in filming, Mayim approached Ken with a smile that didn't quite reach her eyes. Ken, I love that you're keeping everyone in good spirits, but maybe we could dial it down a notch. Just a thought, she suggested gently. Ken's grin faltered for a moment, and he gave a small nod. Yeah, of course, Mayim. I don't mean to go overboard. Just trying to keep things light, you know? Mayim nodded in understanding, but as she walked away, Ken couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to her request. It wasn't the first time she had subtly hinted at this, and he knew she wasn't alone in her concerns. There had been whispers among the higher-ups at Sony about the direction of the show and what the future held for its two hosts. In a private meeting later that week, executive producer Michael Davies gathered the show's key stakeholders to discuss the future of Jeopardy. Ratings had been solid, but there was an underlying concern that the show needed to find a way to evolve without losing its core identity. We've got a great thing going with Ken and Mayim, Davies began, addressing the room but we need to make sure we're not relying too heavily on nostalgia. The focus should be on the game itself and the integrity that Alex Trebek embodied. Ken's charm is undeniable, but we need to ensure that it complements, rather than overshadows, the game. There was a murmur of agreement, and one of the producers spoke up. Ken's been fantastic, but there are moments when his playful side might come off as a bit too casual. We need to find that balance where his personality shines but doesn't distract from the contestants in the game. Davies nodded thoughtfully. I agree. Ken's wit and humor are assets, but we need to make sure they're channeled in a way that enhances the show's legacy.